Hello, everyone, and now welcome. Welcome to a game after all, all well, romantic fortitude playing under the name after all, spawning as the yellow human on the top left hand side of the map. Meanwhile, little DC is spawning as the teal night elf on the top right. Gonna go ahead and just jump straight into this game, speed things up a little bit. For those of you guys who don't know, um, well, Blizzard is testing war um, on the playtest realm patch some changes overall to um, the immolation of that demon hunter. Demon hunter has been able to get, well creep incredibly fast, and there's some changes which affect how much um, how much damage the demon hunter will do immolation, how long it takes to activate, or how much mana it takes to activate, and then how much it is per tick. Um, in essence, it's smarter to turn off and stop it, but hopefully we won't see some crazy, crazy interaction where starting and stopping, starting and stopping actually well, makes some, uh, make some very interesting interactions where the damage output could have been increased. How's the vacation? Um, it wasn't a vacation. It was just a quick trip to the mountains, went snowboarding um, after this frequent or the most recent Los Angeles blizzard, um, which was a strange thing to see. LA County getting a blizzard warning. Um, unfortunately, the roads were closed for about a week. So with the roads closed for about a week, you were not able to do um, um, much of anything. You couldn't actually get up to the mountains. And now that the roads are finally back open, well, we're getting high, um, highs in the mountain of about 41, 42 degrees plus the sun since they are completely clear days. And well, that means uh, well, the snow is melting, so all of those powder days that I was looking for, now gone. Anyways, coming back around here, we see Romantic opening things up with a Naga Sea Witch for something you don't really see um, often. And off strangely enough, we're looking at the Demon Hunter going for um, Mana Burn first. So Mana Burn first is not something you see very often at all. Those cold arrows actually hitting it onto the back of that. Oh, and we're going to see a body block here. Lil DC trying to double back away. Who's going to get the final shot off? as the units are trying to remove move back around here and lil dc may be forced to oh oh does a little bit of do diving and dodging and able to escape at 15 hit points a beautiful duck and dodge right there meanwhile archer is attempting to take down this farm here that will take a little bit of time one peasant was cleared out there as the Naga Sea Witch may try and get closer. Is the Naga Sea Witch actually going to be able to catch up to the Demon Hunter? One or two cold arrows should do it. No, that distance is increasing. The Demon Hunter winning out on that foot race. A slight difference there was all it needed as the Demon Hunter able to retreat back home at 64 hit points after dropping down to as low as 15. Well... Romantic now following things up with a town hall gonna go for a fast expansion attempt and what needs to be what needs to happen next is the Naga Sea Witch does need to clear out this mercenary camp but um, well Naga Sea Witch always proving me wrong now heading out across the map as well and trying to perhaps put some pressure on the demon hunter you can see the forest troll trapper and the forest troll shadow priest have been hired up from that mercenary camp as lightning shield has been placed out. Naga Sea Witch now perhaps going to be going after that forest troll shadow priest. No, going after an archer instead. One or two more attacks would have done it. But no, the archer stays alive at three hit points and ends up getting killed by creeps instead. Immolation now activated. Though these seem, um, well, turning that on, making forward to try and perhaps retreat back here naga sea witch down to 35 hit points is it going to get taken down as the force troll shadow priest gets in a bit more heal heals lil dc actually playing a well not that it's a surprise playing a great game here um able to put in a lot of pressure has the hero level advantage even though he had to use these moon wells early naga sea witch um first not having the gloves of haste perhaps that could have been a bit of an issue as we're going to see him now fall back get to this arcane vault and heal up as well now this additional gold income is helpful only if you have ways to spend it and what we haven't seen yet is a tech to tier two nope tech to tier two now starting but while that tech to tier two is starting he may want to try and clear out the mercenary camp get to level two on the naga sea and hire up some mercenaries of his own 
Force Troll Shadow Priest, Force Troll Berserker, and all prominent targets here as we see the quick, quick scroll of regeneration. Didn't see a clarity potion, oddly enough, as he picks up a second scroll of regeneration just to make sure he has plenty or she has plenty of mana, I guess. Uh, we're going to see the Wisp get taken down. Yes, we do. Level 2 now on the Naga Sea Witch there as we're, the Renegade Wizard is going to get surrounded quickly. Militia now coming back around in on the other side. Take down that Renegade Wizard first. There's a quick, quick purge. Log animation to cast that purge as it now gets taken down. Force Troll Shadow Priest still not hired up, oddly enough, as the Demon Hunter now gets to level 3 and is going to be backed up by a Warden. All right, interesting second hero. Warden not often used as the second hero at all. I was expecting a Keeper of the Grove or a Naga Sea Witch. Not, um, Warden as that second hero. Now with a Pendant of Energy, we're going to be looking at a lot of Fan of Knives. And this is pressure to try and punish a Fast Expanding Human. Fast Expanding Humans have to rely heavily on... Above lower hit point units that um, fall to AOE damage. So if we see Fan of Knives early, that can be effective not only against those militia or those peasant lines, but also against this army of footmen. All right, a little bit of damage here. Mana burn and no mana burn. There's mana burn onto the force or onto the Naga Sea, which Force Troll Shadow Priest still has plenty of mana here as another scroll of regeneration was used. Level 3 on that Naga Sea Witch. It is going to be level 2 Cold Arrows. Meanwhile, Arcane Tower already putting in a bit of pressure as the Blacksmith could end up getting taken down. Fan of Knives across there. Immolation trying to burn its way through. Does well, end up being burned all up already as the Force Troll Shadow Priest quickly taken down. Arcane Tower is still trying to put a little bit of pressure onto that Demon Hunter. Meanwhile, another Fan of Knives goes across multiple units but doesn't give any easy targets to try and finish off except for that lead Footman there. All right, Footman could end up getting taken down, but they are getting on well hit by major damage from all of these um, all of these archers and these heroes. All right, turning things back around. Are we going to see another low hit point footman fall? No, we are not. As we're looking at the Dryad starting to show up at the party. All right, there goes another Forceful Berserker. As no more Phantom Knives possible, we are just a little bit low on mana. That Naga or that Warden wanted just a little bit more mana, and that could have been enough there. Arcane Tower is still in position to cause a bit of problems. Are we going to see the Warden now try to make its way back over, or is the Arcane Tower going to switch targets onto that Warden here? All right, we can see a bunch of low hit point footmen. They are just pretty much sitting in that position. We're going to get to level two now. Warden gets a fan of knives off, but doesn't really hit any of those peasants as they're retreating back. Demon Hunter, however, gets to level four now with level two immolation, as the Demon Hunter needs some additional moon wells to try and. Um, well, we uh, heal up not only the Warden, but um, but the Demon Hunter and get back into good capacity on those hit points and on that mana. All right, the window of opportunity for Night Elf is going to close pretty quickly unless he can put Romantic into a dangerous situation. Um, Romantic able to hold off here with that Arcane Tower and that Guard Tower as, yeah, we are still looking at a solo Naga first don't see a second hero, and we are on a keep. Coming back around, Warden now trying to retreat back here. Demon Hunter going to be coming across here. We should be looking at some rejuvenation. I don't see rejuvenation anywhere on the map as the Dryads are trying to get in front. There's a Forest Troll Shadow Priest as the Archmage shows up as the second hero. All right, Archmage as the second hero, bringing in Brilliance Aura, oddly enough, as the second ability. What is this really meant for as the Warden falls at level 2? Um, well, back on creeps. All right, so Warden falls at level 2. I, yeah, Naga Sea Witch and Archmage doesn't look like they have enough experience to really indicate a kill by, uh, by the human player. So yeah, losing a little bit of control on his units, losing a Warden at level 2 two creeps is a major major setback all right trying to resurrect here but this is going to be uh, well, some some time lost and now that romantic has nearly 1800 gold in the bank should be able to push out and crank up production easily yeah first time i've seen a ward in second first time um first time seeing naga sea which followed up by an archmage with brilliance or a um second so a lot of strange first in my 20 years of watching and casting um, or playing, casting and watching Warcraft 3 games. All right. 
keep on expecting that level one archmage to summon up a water elemental here what is that archmage doing having brilliant zora and having no way to spend mana at all naga seawage going to turn back around here it does have a potion of lesser invulnerability units are going to try and heal back up as we're looking at the druids of the claw ready to finish off or start this engagement now they are going to be going into that well bear form and push perhaps on through at this front door there is a barracks here a uh, dual arcane sanctum some spell breakers are getting cranked out riflemen are and priests are getting added and in, in as well maybe new patch yeah players and this is what you want to see you want to see a uh, new strategies be uh, being implemented by players consistently we're looking now at the warden warden is going to be getting up to what is that going to be 400 and what 415 mana yeah 415 mana also has an orb of venom so that damage over time is going to start to stick as well tree of life getting thrown down on the bottom right hand side of the map as more creeping is still getting underway all right demon hunter going to try and test the waters are we going to see immolation yes immolation getting activated in here trying to disrupt all of that mining there's a big fan of knives to finish off and everything there that was a blink fan of knives as the arcane vault now going to get taken down meanwhile off to the north here we see archmage is going to use the scroll of town portal to try to head inbound here they're trying to finish off some of these guard towers are going to be key and here we are there goes a the guard tower warden now taking a lot of cold arrows and focus fire here spell breakers are going to see a fan of knives Engage, engaging still could be coming possible as the warden trying to find a position finally gets off a fan of knives but will need to blink back as it took far too much damage in that front line spot both sides still trying to engage here but both heroes of the night elf not having enough mana to really make any of those spells powerful meanwhile the demon hunter could try and go for a mana burn here in just a moment as we're looking at the dryads and bears pushing on through rifleman able to get in some big target practice no staff of preservation purchased as there was a double level up archmage and naga sea which now at four and level two respectively warden trying to finish off some more units here but all of the slow coming across from those sorceresses causing problems making this hit and run extremely effective as the bears are just trying to chase after targets and unable to really lay down the damage and opening up damage onto those dryads 45 supply compared to 54 warden somehow um, well, still fighting after all of these peasants trying to regain the economic lead here as another bear could end up getting taken down. There was a deny instead. No experience given, but the value of the unit was still lost. All right, what is this warden going to do? Good warden going to try and hide and now has purposely hidden off over there. That is a rather precarious spot. Perhaps a scroll of town portal by, um, by the demon hunter coming back around would work out well as this warden is pretty much just trapped right here with nowhere to go. All right, this is a curious spot for the Demon Hunter to be. Where is he trying to go? Down to 300 hit points, down and um, dropping quickly, down to 234. What is this? There's a Sentry Ward right there, still just trying to buy perhaps a bit of time. And I don't wait. Maybe the Warden can blink across to get. No, that's way too far. And the Warden is now pretty much just by herself. That was, a ma that was a major, major setback there. The Warden is now in a tough situation. Not going to be able to do much. Finally blinks out after, um, after seeing all that. But if the Demon Hunter had just stood here and used the Scroll of Town Portal, the Warden would already be back at home and not, had, not be forced to use a bit of mana in order for that blink. There's a rejuvenation onto that Warden now. Meanwhile, down to the south side here, Archmage um, opted to go for Blizzard first instead of well, instead of water elementals, perhaps a slow plus a blizzard is going to be effective at taking down those frontline bears. Dryads, bears in that frontline position here. Warden, well, ready to charge on in. Where is the demon hunter? Demon hunter is in the back position once more. Plenty of circlet of nobility. Perhaps going to try and go for some fights here as militia now joining in on the battle. There is one arcane tower here. Demon hunter could try to funnel on in, taking a little bit too much arcane tower feedback damage. As we see level two weapon upgrades for those riflemen. <clears throat> Coming back through. A 
more damage coming coming online here. We're going to see Ogre Warriors get, getting to get cleaned up here. Demon Hunter is sitting at level 5, not going to be able to get any additional experience. Naga Sea Witch coming in from behind. Are we going to see some more damage there? Finally taking things off. Potion of Greater Healing picked up by the Warden as the units are now retreating back. There's a Rejuvenation and perhaps a Druid of a, a, some little bit additional damage here. No, no Rejuvenation, just a Transformation as the Demon Hunter now going to use Scroll of Town Portal to head back away. Blizzard now raining down. One Druid of the Claw gets taken out here as that Blizzard does add up quite a bit of damage. Off to the north, Militia, um, while heading back over, perhaps trying to put in pressure, forgetting that there is a Rock Golem Creep Camp off to the north. Do you think that Shadow Strike damage tick should stack up? Second Shadow Strike um, doesn't come up that often, um, but and, and I, guess it, I guess it happens in 2v2 games. Hmm. Well, it does. It definitely does happen, and it, it can happen in two v two games. Yeah, Blizzard is looking. Yeah, Blizzard is looking to change immolation again. Have the damage be a little bit less. Have the damage per second, uh, damage per second be a little bit less. Have the manage per second be a little bit more, but remove the activation cost. Um, Demon Hunter being able to. Um, being able to use immolation that quickly um, was a very, very big deal. Um, or uh, level up that quickly was a very big deal. But it's nice to see new variety uh, over, overall. Anyways, coming back around, a full Moonwell quickly going to get taken down here. So Spellbreakers, uh, Druid of the Claw going to try and engage here. Do we see a scroll of Town Portal? No, no Mana Burn. Dryad quickly going to get fi finished off here as the main production buildings could end up getting taken down as well. All right. Um, I actually appreciate Blizzard trying to make changes. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary. Sometimes when there's a big change up, such as what we saw with Immolation, you need to see how the dust settles in before you go on and change it again. Both ta um, The fact that they realize that it's a, perhaps a bit too strong is, is a good thing, but the downside is, are they going to over-tweak it? They, they really need to see if the community can find a way to come, um, come back with some sort of counterbalance as well. All right, coming back around here, Demon Hunter going to try to lead the charge here. Rifleman, Blizzard, a, a lot of range casters here. Naga Sea Witch continuing this pressure. There is that Blizzard raining down level two. Blizzard going after those units. We see a bit of deny there as a Druid of the Claw still not getting Staff of Preservation back home because there is no Staff of Preservation. However, this Druid of the Claw somehow se seemingly still alive as the Blizzard may finally take it down now. All right, sorceresses with plenty of slow. We're looking at potion of greater healing transferred to the demon hunter. Demon hunter now going to get a mana burn onto the Naga Sea Witch. Naga Sea Witch doesn't have much to sh uh, show there as the demon hunter now going to try and turn back away. Perhaps get some damage onto the archmage. Archmage needs to take some mana burns as well as he's been able to use blizzard fairly effectively 72 supply compared to 59 but it is the human who is running and retreating back right now but without staff of preservation still just giving plenty of um well experience to um to the human army there's a big fan of nines there but is it going to be enough to actually take down any vital targets as the warden blinks away at 18 hit points all right demon hunter Looking perhaps to use a little bit of Moonwell Juice. Druid of the Claw needs to engage here. There is an Ancient of War. That's going to get taken down. One of the Ancients of Lore were taken down as well. So that is having the production or having the, um, the output, a unit output of the Night Elf Army. Only one Druid of the Claw. The reinforcements are going to be coming in slowly as Night Elf now trying to retreat back again. All right, trying to hold this front line. There's a Phantom Knives into that backline position, trying to go after the Sorceresses and those Priests. Demon Hunter taking far too much damage again. Dual Orb of Venom, but not really nearly as effective when all of your melee heroes are constantly slowed by Sorceresses. Dryad's continuing this poke here. Drew to the Claw getting taken down, and I believe Human is going to be able to take it. Oh, nice save by the Naga Sea Witch there as the Warden able to stay alive at 17 hit points. All right, Naga Sea Witch. Oh, invisibility comes away and able to stay alive again once more. Demon Hunter falls at level 5. And without the chance of Superman on the battlefield, it looks as though Human is just going to be able to do a slow push with this army. True Shot Aura and Brilliance Aura brought by the Archmage additional mana for the sorceresses and priest and also additional damage for the sorceresses as well priest should really be constantly healing and with that 
extra bonus mana should uh, well shouldn't run out of mana very easily dryad well walking straight into the lion's den there archmage coming back around there is another production building about to get taken down as well blizzard raining down to try and shut off these eight well, moon wells and ancient of wonders it's not that op if it's not consistently used fair it's op in in level three immolation yeah so un un unless it is the only go-to strategy well drew to the claw pretty much getting taken and cleaned up the instant it pops on out here demon hunter is resurrected at the tavern in order to try to get back into this fight but i think it is going to be a foregone conclusion unless romantic um, it makes some sort of major misstep here. He should be able to just simply attack move with this army here. All right, Warden trying to push on its way through. That's too many Spellbreakers for the Warden to really blink past. And then Phantom Knives, um, only at level 2, not really able to um, well, cause problems for the Sorceresses and the Priest. Dry is now trying to retreat back. There is another blink again. A new Rifleman uh, well, sees the welcoming party that is being pushed towards him as unit after unit is still falling. All right, Orb of Venom damage trying to get one free Rifleman, but at what cost? That may have been a little bit of bait there as the Demon Hunter able to survive ever so barely. All right, a little bit more blinking underway, trying to see where units are going to go. Demon Hunter is slowed once again, and I believe this Demon Hunter is going to end up getting taken down. No, multiple heroes trying to retreat back once more. Oh my goodness, I believe that's my daughter's phone alarms in the next room. That is annoying. A player's Demon Hunter Nagas or Demon Hunter Warden now trying to retreat back. Dryad off to the north here trying to pick off slow moving units. But and really a uh, romantic fortitude sitting in high upkeep with 88 supply army going up against 41. It, should have no problems whatsoever. A Naga Sea Witch first, and now going to get Tornado to perhaps try and finish off some of these buildings. All right, Dryad simply trying to walk on by an army of riflemen. They get, well, poked to death as well. All right, Naga Sea Witch get, regenerating some of that mana there. You can see that the main town hall um, has run out of gold. Only 10 more seconds here. And once this Tree of Eternity is gone... Well, no more Ancients of Lore. Dual Ancients of Lore being built off to the south, so still going to be able to crank out some of those units for at least a little while longer. Romantitude. All right. Coming back through, there's a, some quick detonation on that Naga Sea Witch. Naga Sea Witch should make its way down here, perhaps get in some tornadoes across those units to the, or the buildings to the south and try to finish things up. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter did get to level 6, oddly enough. I don't know when that happened, but the Demon Hunter did get to level 6. Cloak of Shadows picked up by the Warden. Um, now she can you now that she can hide during the day, we'll see how useful that ability really is. All right, there's a quick reveal here. More Moonwells trying to be placed down and perhaps try to keep the Demon Hunter well. And here we are. Here we go into some sort of engagement. Level 3 Mana Burn. There is that ranged Chaos damage there. And that, well, just trying to apply that damage across. There is a Tornado, though, but a blink across and away as both sides are still fighting their way through. Metamorphosis versus Tornado as damage is, well, adding up more and more. Warden trying to fan on knives, able to get in a little bit more kills there as the Tornado is moving around, trying to get that Warden. And I believe... Uh, the Naga Sea Witch is just trying to go after the Warden, not realizing that the Warden can blink around pretty easily and effectively. The Demon Hunter actually getting in some crazy damage here with that range Chaos damage, getting off some more Phantom Knives as the Demon Hunter, well, has really taken its soul here. Can we see another Phantom Knives here and how many Priests are here to actually have it affected? Are we going to see a Phantom Knives waiting for it? No Phantom Knives. There he goes and now gets up to level 5 and able to blink away. Demon Hunter back to his normal, still scary self as those... Um, Spellbreakers were not finished off. All right, Demon Hunter down to 183 hit points. You cannot wait three. Uh, that well, that um, two-minute cooldown now just cannot come fast enough. You can see that the ranged chaos damage, how much damage um, it was able to chip away at those Spellbreakers. 
All right, Moonwell after Moonwell is falling. 69 supply compared to 34. We're looking at the Warden getting healed back up. Demon Hunter perhaps going to try to come back around. Druids of the Claw need to be trained up and get some rejuvenation on that Demon Hunter here as a little bit of damage going to be, well, applied. Dryad now trying to retreat back. Warden, well, trying to dive on in, perhaps getting a blink fan of knives. There's a mana burn onto the Naga Sea Witch, and here we are, Potion of Lesser Invulnerability. This may be the last uh, effort um, last attempt to buy the Night Elf to try and hold off, perhaps, and um, try to tip things in favor, but no, not going to be able to do so. Demon Hunter about to fall. There's another Moonwell heal. He gets taken down finally. Warden is going to get taken down as well. Nope. Down to 40 hit points before he leaves the game. 66 supply compared to 29 in the end. The opening segments, Night Elf did have a good chance of trying to shut down Human as the Naga Sea Witch as a primary hero um, wasn't that strong but romantic able to extend it and make it useful and eventually having the archmage with blizzard with those sorceress priests and spellbreakers and um, able to deal enough damage to those bears also night elf not getting a staff of preservation on either hero was a major setback as suddenly those bears as they were slowly falling it was never like it was bursted down suddenly plenty of time for staff of preservation as they were slowly taken down it was adding more and more experience eventually giving the hero level advantage to romantic let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below thanks for watching thanks for listening